I've got something planned today that I thought I'd take you along for anybody who wants to fit a electric Robasto roof to the classic minute. So I'll take you a little bit of a I'll give you a bit of a heads up on what's going on so far in the uni. So now we've got boost for my knee. He's running how steering. I have to do quite a bit of machine work to this and mounting work and modified all sorts of stuff down there. That's been on the go. I've been starting to knock up a video. Because to be honest, I'm not, not really big on this video. Just, just, just plug along with it, you know what I mean? But basically, it's going to be this. Basically, I wanted a new toy. So I brought myself an LE. Now I've wanted one of these for as long as I can remember. Now this is the John Cooper LE, which is, you know, it's one of the one of the rarest ones. They made 300 well, how many things in one of this set. They only made 300 of these, and it's it's the one I wanted. So it's got all the red leather. It is a really nice example. But it's got no sunroof, because I don't think they actually made this kind of sunroof. So I've got a roof, and I've got a sunroof. And this is a really nice one, because it's got a Moair skin on it. New roof liner. And what we're gonna do is cut this big hole out of that roof. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop around here, I'm going to use this as a template. So I'll put this on top of that roof, draw around, cut the circle, drill all the holes. And theoretically, it should work. If not, I'm cutting a hole in the car that I've just paid like nine grand for. Ah, well, you know, might as well try. And if anybody had noticed, I have a chassis table. It's a proper chassis over The single seaters. Which might give you a bit of an idea on what we're going to be doing soon, but the legs are going to be shortened down there. There's a lot of money's worth of tools that I've just purchased. And we've got a lot of tube coming. So that's what I'm going to say. For now, until it's permanent. So right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick you up here. Stick on time lapse and start taking my new car apart. I know. Daft daily. Right then. Let's get rocking, shall we? First bit, seats out, carpet out. I thought, I want to have a look at what I got for my money. Oh, that's how it's talked. Fresh, yeah, fucking doors heavy. <clears throat> and, I'll tell you what, it's clean. Corners, sills down here, we've got a little bit of fraying. Out. I hate it when people jack them up on the floor. It's a fucking annoying. And then this one, it's good. I mean, it's had sills on the outside, but as you can see, it looks like someone's done a good job because I haven't really burnt through the tar. That's pretty good. It's just a bit of shit that needs cleaning. See, very good. Down here, all we've got is that, which I think I've just caught it. 
in time it's basically just been like surface rust but all down there clean in the end so we jacked it up again so and i know the underneath clean because when i went to buy it i had a look and it's clean boots clean the same so i think I brought a solid car which is what i was really hoping for Right, next, windows out, I might take this door off, I'll cover the door cards, roof lining out. I'm taking the trim out, because as you all know, you ain't replacing it. And then I've got to cut the roof out, I don't want to get done. Right, let's carry on, shall we? Back over, here we go, and we're going to crack on. Car's pretty much ready now. Roof lining's all out. Sound deadening's down. I'm gonna try and get something to cover these door cards. I'm gonna need to get something to cover the rest of the paint. I'll tell you what, these original roof linings, sound deadening's came out mean look. That doesn't happen very often, does it? Oh well. Crack on, get cutting, shall we? Template out. No, no, that's scrap. This is what you need. What you have to do now, all these edges, lines, linish them back, and then you wrap them in tape. Anything that's sharp, wrapped in tape, will scratch your roof. And then I'm gonna put something around the roof, I think. Some derm. Thick masking tape, so I've got something to draw on. So yeah, template. If anybody needs a template after I've used it, I've got one, you can have it. Now what I'm going to do, it's dark, right? it's like tape. Right, so I've took all the edge off, not sharp at all now, all the way around. But I'm still going to tape it. So I guess some uh, cleaner, it's a great cleaner. Clean all around the edge, get it all nice and taped up. You're definitely then gonna not gonna scratch the roof. Right? You may think why I'm um, time lapsing it all because 
just this is just basic stuff in it. Just strip your car out, put a roof, cut it off. But I think it'll be easier when we put it on the roof and, and make sure it's in the right place in here. Right, let's get taping, shall we? Grab a couple of probably the small magnets because you use the aerial as an alignment tool. Then, then you just give it a bit of a, a bit of a shuffle. It falls into where it should be, and then a couple of magnets. We'll hold it where you want it to be. Yeah, put it on their line like that. Then get this one. Put it on the line like that. Can't move. Aerials go at the front. It is that simple. I thought both of these are doing the same colour. You know? Right. We're getting there. So now what I'm going to use. Hang on. Guarantees in the machine shop. Put the light on. I guarantee <laughs> you have to remove this. My tape is further away. Nothing in that seat. Hmm, I bet all of them are down there as well. There's about four of them. <laughs> 